what, what the lady's talking about. Yeah. Yeah. What's up, family? A Chicago judge gave a black teenager community service. No jail time for her role in kidnapping and torturing a disabled white man. And you know white folks pissed off about this one, right? I mean, they mad. Now, y'all remember, this girl I'm talking about, her name is Brittany Coverton. She's 19 years old. She and three other people were charged with kidnapping and torturing the young man. Made him drink water from the toilet. Did some other things. And they filmed it and posted it to Facebook Live. Basically, telling on themselves. Now, Brittany has spent the last year, well, she's been in jail since January. So she has spent some time in relationship to this crime. I guess the judge could have sentenced her to a year in jail and gave her time served. The judge says that he didn't think jail was suitable for her. He didn't think that she would learn anything by locking her up. Before some of y'all go off the deep end with this, let me refresh your memory. There was some white boys in Idaho who tortured and sodomized a black boy, a middle schooler, with a coat hanger. They didn't receive any jail time. Many people applauded the judge's decision. Many people that were not black applauded the decision. They said that, hey, they're just boys. They're just young boys. Don't destroy their lives. They have their own lives ahead of them. They have their whole life ahead of them. No need to destroy it over one bad decision. Even if they destroy somebody else's life, don't destroy their life. I mean, they're just boys. After all, boys will be boys. So, here's the deal. People shouldn't trip out too much on this because the judge gave little mama a short leech. Gave her enough rope to hang herself. It remains to be seen whether or not she is going to use that rope to hang herself or she's going to use that rope to pull herself to safety. It's going to be interesting. You know the racist trolls, they're all over this one. Oh man, they're all over this one. Here's the thing. I don't mind people being critical of the judge's decision. I didn't think there was no way possible that any one of them would end up with some type of probation. I just knew the judge was going to throw the book at them like they always do when it comes to black folks, especially if a black person does something to a white person. Oh, man, they going in. I think they're going to OJ her. I think that there's been such an outcry about the judge's decision. People are trying to get the judge removed. There have been protests. They want him removed from the bench. I suspect that they may succeed. But they are going to be waiting for her to make the very simplest mistake. I don't give a damn if it's jaywalking. If she accidentally bumps into somebody at Walmart. Oh, assault. They're going to lock her up. And then that's when they'll overcharge her and give her a 30-year sentence. Got to make up for it. Those other three...
who haven't been sentenced yet, their asses are in trouble because now the pressure is on for the other judges to get it right. They're going to be after them. Oh, man. They better make sure they got some hell of a lawyers because I don't think any one of them is going to receive a slap on the wrist. No. In addition to the community service, the judge gave Brittany four years of probation and banned her from social media. That right there alone is going to be her downfall because kids cannot stay off social media to save their life. They can't do it. He basically is setting up for failure. White folks is losing it. Man, they protest and they want the judge gone. They going crazy. I mean, where was this passion for justice when the white boy went to jail and claimed where he ran over the people, killed four, I think three or four people, and he claimed affluenza. The kids raped the little uh, black boy, sodomized him, sodomized the disabled boy. See, you can't even say, well, that's the disabled community, you know, they're coming together, you know. No, 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 they didn't come together for the little black boy. The disabled community, they was nowhere to be found. They didn't speak on it at all. White folks want all the wins. They don't want to take no L's. They want every single, every win count to them, man. They fighting for every inch. They feel like, man, if black folks ever get a break, then that means that they're not winning. They feel like if we're winning, they're losing. That's the way they feel. <laughs> like our, our prosperity is somehow their misfortune. Like, damn, man, come on, man. All these wins y'all had, man, y'all can't give us one every nine then? Damn. Let's see, man, what's the score? White privilege, $9,675,899,065. Black privilege, two. Including OJ. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Yeah.